Time for the BMW Mini's final then for round three at the Five Nations British Rally Cross Championship. Let's see what is going to happen as we get ready to go green then. Lots of exciting action to take place. Constantine and Brown on the front row of the grid. Lights go green. We go out. Good start from Constantine. Great from Brown on the outside then. Side by side they go down towards the first corner. Darren Bleasdale in third position there as well. Up the inside comes Brown on Constantine. Constantine's on the outside line there coming through the right hander. He's really, really muscling his way through there is Steve Brown going joker in the background there is the number 18 of Hawks but it is Brown that gets the whole shot gets the advantage and gets the lead away from Tom Constantine fantastic exactly what he needed to do on this first lap of racing then so Constantine now coming under pressure from Darren Bleasdale then and let's see whether Bleasdale is going to be able to mount a challenge or whether Constantine is going to be finding his way past before too long. These two have been very close to one another throughout the entirety of the day here in Pembrey. And it'll be exciting to see what happens between them. Constantine there really putting the pressure onto the back of the 1-2-3 of Steve Brown coming through into the left-hander. No opportunity presenting itself into turn one. But onto the gravel section we go and then through in towards the hairpin bend and maybe there'll be an opportunity presenting itself here for Tom Constantine it could come down crucially to the Joker here as well we're side by side meanwhile for third position with Bleasdale versus Sayer that's pretty close between those two drivers there Steve Brown though meanwhile still continues on his assault for second position and also crucially as well the number 18 of Hawks not too far adrift there is Andrew oh and a spin there for Tom Constantine at the bottom of Brooklands so he's made an error, has the number seven, and that has put him right out of contention for the win in the final. Just locked the rears going into there, I think, or maybe clipped the curb on the way in. Either way, Tom Constantine loses track position, and now that has handed the race lead and a comfortable margin, crucially, to Steve Brown on an absolute plate. Very impressive stuff indeed there for Steve Brown to keep his nose clean under pressure. Going into the joker there was the number 44 of Ellis, by the looks of things. Darren Bleasdale also continuing on his normal lap. Sayer then followed by Hawks as they come through second, third and fourth into the left-hander. And on towards that back straight they go once again. These minis running nose to tail. Dave Ellis has, of course, now made that joker in this race. So he's sitting pretty if he can keep in touching distance of the race lead. No such problems, though, for the race leader of Steve Brown behind the wheel of the number one, two, three. Over the hop of the curb he goes. Tom Constantine, meanwhile, he'll be absolutely kicking himself after that one. Now drops down into sixth position as he comes through the hairpin bend. And he's quite a way down on the rest of the field. A disappointment then for uh, Tom Constantine. Apologies, Tom Constantine is somewhere else on the circuit. Getting him a bit confused there with Steve Brown. But uh, either way, Brown with a very nice advantage out there in this race as it stands here then so far. So 4.8 seconds is the number one, two, threes gap over the rest of the field as it was over the timing line last time around. Now Ellis has made his joker, I don't think anybody else around him in front of him has, so Bleasdale, Sayer and Hawks who were sitting in second, third and fourth in this race have not made their joker laps and that is going to be very interesting to see whether Ellis could be in with a shout of the podium positions here when everybody else gets their strategies in place. Ellis has been very quick so far here today in the BMW Mini category at Pembrey onto the fourth lap out of six we start and is anybody going to joker this time around especially in that battle for second third and fourth place let's see what is going to happen then nobody going through this time around by the looks of things they continue on their normal route so they'll be doing it presumably the next time or indeed on the last time uh, of the asking of this race Brown coming through with that advantage. It has come down ever so slightly, actually, between himself and Darren Bleasdale, actually by quite a lot, as I look at the timing screens now. Sits at nine-tenths of a second between Brown and Bleasdale. So I'll be intrigued to see how this is all going to uh, play out there. Meanwhile, the number 18 of Andrew Hawks putting a lot of pressure then on to the back of Ben Sayer for third position in this race. Over the timeline we go. We're starting the... Last but one lap of the BMW Mini's final for round three of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. Through the left-hander we go, then flicking it into the right. And Sayer coming under all sorts of pressure from the number 18 of Hawks there as well. You can see that Sayer is uh, perhaps not quite as comfortable in the twisty section compared to Hawks there. A bit of understeer coming into that hairpin bend will not help his traction, will not help his drive they come down the back straight 
But either way, he's not able to mount a challenge as it stands so far. Meanwhile, Steve Brown with enough of an advantage, seven tenths of a second it sits at between himself and Darren Bleasdale. Over the timeline we go to start the final lap then here for round three in the BMW Minis. In towards the left-hander we go. And in towards the joker for some of our drivers here then as well. So Steve Brown continues on his normal lap. Darren Bleasdale does as well. Those two have already made their joker. Everybody else behind them continuing on as they would do. So let's see what is going to happen then between these drivers. Through into the left hander we go. Brown coming under all sorts of pressure now from Bleasdale then. Is Darren going to be able to find his way through? No traction for him on the exit of the corner. That allows just enough of a buffer then for Steve Brown to be able to hold on to his lead. And the straight line speed of that mini is proving to be very impressive indeed. Coming through the left hander we go. Then flicking it through into the right. And it is going to be Steve Brown then that comes across the line to win the final in the BMW Minis ahead of Darren Bleasdale, ahead of Sayer, the number 77. Hawks, Ellis and Constantine complete the six drivers in the BMW Minis race then. The final here for round three of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. Fantastic race then for the BMW Minis and a great win overall for Steve Brown. Darren Bleasdale kept him on his right to the chequered flag, but sadly it wasn't quite enough to demote the number one, two, three of Brown down a position in the grid.